Unlike a traditional IRA, with a Roth IRA, you pay taxes on the contributions, but when you withdraw after retirement, your withdrawals are tax-free, so you don't pay taxes on those withdrawals. Again, doesn't come into this example, uh, but I mention it here for your interest. The example, though, is that you deposit $500 every quarter, meaning four times a year, into a Roth IRA that earns 3.75% interest. And the question asks, how much will this account hold in 30 years? Again, we use the future value formula for an annuity, a savings annuity. And it looks like this. All we have to do is fill in all the pieces. Again, P is the amount that we deposit regularly. So we deposit $500 every quarter. R, in this case, is 3.75%, so 0 0.0375. And is 4, because we're depositing it every quarter, or four times a year. And T is 30, because we're doing this for 30 years. So putting in all the pieces, this is what we get. And again, all we have to do is plug all this into the calculator and figure out how much the account will hold at the end of 30 years. Again, I'll begin in the innermost parentheses in the numerator. So add 1 plus 0 0.0375 divided by 4. Raise that answer to the 4 times 30, or 120. Subtract 1 from that answer. Then multiply by 500. And that's the entire numerator. And then divide that numerator by 0 0.0375 divided by 4. And we can get a final answer of $110,086. So if you deposit $500 every quarter into a retirement account earning 3.75% interest, after 30 years the account will hold $110,086. And if you calculate it out, the amount of interest that you earn is just over $50,000 in interest, which is fairly significant again.